Mina, Konbanwa, Jesus Freaking Gamer here, back with more Psalms. This time I'm coming at you with Psalm 88. I'm just going to read a few select verses out of this psalm to try to convey the overall tone of the psalm. By all means, read behind me. Check it out. Read the entire thing at your leisure. Uh, reading the Word of God is always a good thing. I always encourage you to check behind me, make sure I'm saying it right, interpreting it right, and have the right context, especially when I kind of go around an area quite a bit. So let's hop right into this. I'm going to go into verse 1. O Lord God of my salvation, I have cried out day and night before you. Let my prayer come before you. Incline your ear to my cry. For my soul is full of troubles, and my life draws near to the grave. I am counted with those who go down to the pit. I am like a man who has no strength. Let's hop down to verse 8. You have put away my acquaintances far from me. You have made me an abomination to them. I am shut up, and I cannot get out. My eye wastes away because of affliction. Jump down to verse 13. But to you I have cried out, O Lord, and in the morning my prayer comes before you. Lord, why do you cast off my soul? Why do you hide your face from me? And then verse 18. Loved one and friend you have put far from me, and my acquaintances into darkness. And that's the whole psalm. That's it. There is, and I was, I was a little bit surprised by this one, there is no hope. There is no light of salvation here. He's crying out to God and he's getting no answer. His acquaintances are far from him. He doesn't feel good. He fe he's counted by other people as someone about to die. And at the end of the psalm, there's nothing. There's nothing. And I was just, in my own view, really up until today, up until I read this, because again, I've read through the Bible twice up to this point. I don't remember everything I read. It'd be cool if I did, but I don't. And I didn't recall any psalm or any Bible story where there was just no salvation, no redemption whatsoever throughout the entire thing. And in this one, you, you have no indication that any of his friends come to help him, that God ever hears him, or that things will be okay, or that he has any hope even in his heart. Everything is bad. Everything is wrong all the way through. And if I heard a worship song or a Christian song, and there was like, no, but God, you will save me. God, you're my salvation. You're the rock I depend on. You are the cornerstone that I lean upon. I know I can trust in you. I know you'll bring me through. If I didn't hear that in a song, I'd probably be like, golly, what a depressive guy. What a, you know, even what a jerk, or maybe even think, you know, it's not a very strong Christian right there. It's not a very strong believer. I love Job, and I love how real it is, and I love how much pain there is, but at the end of Job, there's hope. There's hope. And the psalm doesn't have any. And it kind of reminded me of the story of Abel. Um, Cain killed him. That was it. Cain was punished. And I'm sure Abel's in the heaven with the Lord, but down here, there was no hope. There wasn't a good ending to the story. And that story goes on and on and on about, I, I can think of so many... Stories of like Christian martyrs who have died since Jesus came. A ton of them happened in the last century, in the 20th century. Um, more martyrs died in the 20th century than the previous 19 centuries leading up to it. <clears throat> I'm sorry, leading up to it. So it's not like, it's not like martyrdom is an old-fashioned thing. It's not like Christians aren't being persecuted in this world anymore. They are. And it's just it, stories where you don't see any hope down here. You, apparently, it's, it, it looks like God isn't there. And I would encourage, I would encourage you, um, you know, if you have a heart cry that, that that's just, God, where are you? God, help, I don't see you. Go ahead and pray that. Go ahead and be honest with your Father. He knows how you feel. He knows the situation you're in. Be honest with Him. And if there's not a pleasant end... I can no longer say, you know, you're a weak Christian or you're lacking faith. I, I can't say that. I would, I would hope that you would still have hope in the Lord and you'd still have belief in Him. Apparently this guy still believed in God. He was crying out to Him. But there was no hope whatsoever in that psalm. What do you guys think? Is this, um... Like, do you think my perspective before was okay? Or do you think my perspective now of, well... Sometimes it really does look hopeless, and there's really not much positive to say. Do you think maybe that perspective that I've adopted really just today, based on that psalm, do you think that's correct? 
I'd love to know what you think down in the comments below. I do believe God is a God of hope. I do believe he will deliver you. I also believe, like Job prayed, and I'm sure he meant it when he said it, if God were to slay me, I would still trust him. If there was no happy ending, Job would have died trusting in God. Hopefully, and I'm guessing that this psalmist probably had the same attitude, and that's an attitude I myself will try to emulate. And I, I have done the best I can to basically submit my heart and my soul to God and say, you know, I love all the blessings you've given to me, but if that stops and if that ceases, I'll continue to serve you, even though it sucks. I've tried to make that a, a heart goal. I've just, to see it so plainly in the scripture, like, yeah, there's nothing positive or good or hopeful here. It was just like, wow. So let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. This might have been a bit of a depressive um, message, but it was a very depressive psalm. Uh, if, you, if you need some comfort, you need some good times, you can read many, many passages in the Bible where the Lord comes through in the Psalms where God brings victory to his people. I do believe God brings victory to his people, but I will admit some stories like Abel and like the Mars do not have a happy ending this side of heaven. Guys, thank you very much for watching this video. Once, for, I'm just emphasizing this a third time because I really want to see what you think in the comments down below. Leave those comments down. Leave those comments in the comment section down below and let me see what you think. Love you very much, and God bless.